Oh yeah, we got stereo sound. Okay, I'm going to put it on the Game Boy and uh, let's see what we're going to get. So yeah, people, I am ready. Whew, it was a little bit of a pain in the ass of uh, connecting this to the system. Um, the reason why I found out the back, you need to put the connector between the batteries. A really strange way of connecting this thing. And gently shoving it between the batteries and after some tries I finally got the batteries uh, be connected with the Game Boy and this machine. Okay. It works. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm going to pour out the lights. Not to forget. Maximum angle. Yeah. And now we have a joystick. Like in the arcades. Hello, my name is David Schick. Uh, I am the inventor of TAP and I'm the CEO of TAP Systems Inc. In this video segment, I'm going to show you the basics of TAP to use for language input and also to use as a mouse. So I'm wearing my TAP device and it is paired to this Microsoft uh, tablet, which, which is running Microsoft Word. So first, let me show you how to use the language function. So I'm going to tap something. Okay, so I tapped Mary had a little lamb. And what I did was each time I touched my hand to the table, I selected which fingers I wanted to use in order to produce that particular character. So I'll do it really slowly for just a couple of letters. M, A, R, Y, Mary. Uh, now in addition to doing um, text, I can also enter anything pretty much that you can do with a keyboard. So for example, numbers, I can do like that. Um, and punctuation, I can do with double taps, like that. Uh, and that's how the, the language input function works. Or on the home keys, your fingers will know what to do. Nothing in this regard has changed from the keyboards to which you're accustomed. Most people start typing at almost their normal speed and accuracy with virtually no transition time. I want to explain four major reasons why most keyboards are completely unsatisfactory. The first position that you have to assume to type on most keyboards involves pronation, or turning the hands so that the palms are down toward the ground. By pronating the hands, you take the two bones in the forearm and they begin to twist and scissor, compressing all of the nerves and muscles 
in the forearm. The second position is called ulnar deviation and that involves twisting the wrist like so. The third position is called extension which is bending the wrist. Now when a person types on a conventional keyboard all three positions are assumed at the same time. Pronation, ulnar deviation, and extension of the wrists. Many so-called ergonomic keyboard designs actually just move the problem from one area of the body to another. Observe what happens when our typist goes from a conventional flat keyboard to a new split ergonomic design. You'll observe now that the elbows have to be held out away from the body, resulting in stress in the neck and shoulders. There's only one keyboard that can't be adjusted improperly and automatically places the user in that position. And that's the safe type. system. Now you and the games are one. The power glove. Everything else is child's play. I was four. No wonder I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know about this. Okay, I see some red clouds. Ooh, this is cool. A castle amongst the clouds. A starry night. It literally looks like I'm watching a really old thing in 3D. This is a little bit harder than a lot of the Mario's I've done before, because it's you're <laughs> you got to figure out what you're doing first. And I'm gonna jump on this guy. Bloop. And throw this shell. I'm gonna throw the shell. Yeah. I just can't believe people would like actually sit like this for hours because it just seems so uncomfortable. I Blue breeze. Just pull in the release lever, remove your normal gaming head, plug in your pistol grip, and you're good to go. Occasionally you will have to calibrate the Novin Falcon. This is a good indicator here if you have a green or red light, simply pull the unit back, push forward, you get the blue light, you're good to go. And here we have the Haptics Crisis mod screen within the game of Crisis. In order to initiate this particular screen, you have to upgrade all your drivers to the latest version for Novint as well as download all the updates for the Crisis game itself. This is the controller option screen. As you can see here, we have complete control over the environment including environmental forces, vehicle forces, recoil and damage forces, as well as recoil filters, pistol grip offsets and sensitivity settings.